I have something that I really want to share with you guys. Um, and it has to do with Bible prophecy. We are going to look at the scripture and see if we can emphasize the point of Bible prophecy. Um, if you scour the internet, uh, YouTube, Facebook, Google, most individuals are all giving some type of end time prophecy. Everyone has all these fanciful ideas of the mark of the beast, the antichrist, uh, computer chips, uh, barcodes. But the Bible has a purpose for prophecy. And if any of those prophecies or any of those ideas do not match up with what the Bible says, stay away from it. Christ tells us in John chapter 5 and verse 39, he says, ye search the scriptures, for in them you think that you have eternal life, but they are which that testify of me. So that means that every single portion of scripture, the purpose of that scripture, whether it's a prophecy or not, is to point the individual to Christ. All scripture is to point us to the Savior. That's the purpose of Scripture, period. That's the purpose of Revelation. That's the purpose of the book of Daniel. It all points us to Christ because we need salvation from our sins. We need to be rescued from our sins. While these theories, I'll say theories, that you read are fanciful uh, about barcodes, um, RFID chips, all these different theologies of numbers and numerology and uh, the books of Enoch and all those fanciful tales. If those things do not point you to the fact that you need a savior, that you need to be saved in your sinful state, if it does not point you to Jesus, stay away from it. Furthermore, Christ himself tells us the point of prophecy. If you look at John chapter 14 and verse 29, it states, I, speaking of Jesus, tell you these things, prophecies, before they happen, so that when they happen, you ought to believe me. So the point of prophecy is so that you can see that God can be trusted. This is why it is so crucial, brothers and sisters, to make sure that you read the Bible and study it for yourself according to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, because God is going to be the one that tests us on his word. That particular verse even says it. It says, study to show thyself approved unto God, not man. God will truthfully show whether or not you have been studying his word. Because his word, the written word, is God literally speaking to us. It's his word. When you open that book, you're literally listening to and hearing the word of God. This is why it is crucial to read it and study it daily. And according to Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 13, God says that if we seek him, we shall find him. If we search for him with all of our heart. God will reveal himself in his word to us. That way you won't be deceived because a deception is coming, a great deception, greater than what's already being uh, presented to the world right now. And the reason that most of us are deceived is because we don't know the God of scripture and we're not reading and studying those scriptures so that we can hear his voice when he speaks. This is the purpose of John chapter 5 and verse 39.
So you're searching the scriptures for, to, to create fanciful stories and tales. But those things should always point individuals back to Jesus. If it does not point to Christ, if it does not elevate Christ, as he said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. Stay away from it. It's dangerous. I love you guys too much to let you be deceived. Don't forget that if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. Uh, don't forget to like this video. Um, follow us on Facebook, Seal of God Network, as well as the Watchman for Christ. Truth is stranger than fiction. And no matter if you like it or not, it always stays true. God bless you. My friends, it's time to wake up.